Hey royalty, hey empress, hey empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be a collective reading, all signs, anyone can resonate with this. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is going to be a collective reading. It's going to be a quick spread, y'all. Let's do a pop-up reading real quick this evening, or whenever you are watching this reading. Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, keep you safe all days, always. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. And I only have one YouTube page and one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. It's at Mecca Dreams. And I am sending you so much peace, love, and healing energy. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, Please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for the collective, the divine emperors and empresses that have clicked on this video? What do they need to know? Yeah, I was having a hard time shuffling that other way. <laughs> <laughs> let's see <laughs> so you have here y'all come on now spirit told me to get on for a reason now i'm understanding <laughs> y'all y'all money is increasing so get ready for money honey i you guys could be saying affirmations or you're just doing something where it's like your money is coming in your money is increasing you're doing something that's putting you at a new tax bracket at a new level this could be a promotion, this could be a raise, this could just be a new tax break, okay, an investment, something that is coming in that is new for you, and it's creating a happy home. You have a happy home that you could be creating at this time or that's coming towards you. You also have someone here that you're going to have a magnetic pull to. All right now, so there's someone here who's interested in you, okay, or you feel like you have an unexplainable pull towards someone, okay, so let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, there's different things that's being hidden at this time from you. With the moon card being here, cancer energy is here. There's still certain things where you're needing to trust and listen to your intuition and your better judgment. Okay, they want you to focus on healing. So certain things could still be hidden at this time along your path because they need you to heal first and they need you to continue to listen and trust in your intuition. Gemini energy along with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You could be connecting to any of these signs, okay? Or you could have this in your birth chart. What's the moon about? Gemini at the bottom of the deck as well. And then you have Koth. He's a Gemini. <laughs> Confirmation. What's the moon card about? What's the moon card about for the divine empress and empresses? Oh, snap. So there's some type of illusion, okay? Somebody here could be in an, in an illusion in regards to a karmic feminine, okay? And learning a lesson. There's a lesson that needs to be learned here, okay? This could have been in regards to a completion, an ending of a cycle. What's this What's this distorted feminine or distorted masculine? This could be an Aquarius for someone here. Someone here had a choice whether or not they wanted to deal with someone who may not be in their right mind or even their right energy. Like, they had a choice whether or not they wanted to deal with this or connect to this person, okay? Yeah, they had options. Someone here most definitely had options. So you could have been connecting to someone. And it's like someone here was in an illusion in regards to who and what a divine feminine or divine masculine is. Okay, this person could have made a choice. They could have been in already in a connection either with you or with someone else. And a choice needed to be made with this lover's card here. Okay, most definitely you could be cleansing, meditating, saging your space, saging your aura at this time. There's most definitely a pause or some type of stagnation that could be taking place. Sagittarius is here again. Someone's money is funny as well. Anything else you could tell me about this distorted feminine? Why is it in the reverse? This person is gossiping. So somebody here is lost in the sauce. They don't have nothing better to do. They gossip. They talk trash, cash shit. Okay, and they could be looking up you know, information online trying to figure out what's going on. So this could be someone that's in an illusion at this time that needs to see the truth about what's going on in their life, okay? 
not only are different things getting ready to be revealed to you, but there's most definitely a divine feminine or a divine masculine. I shouldn't even say divine because it's in the reverse. A karmic feminine or a karmic masculine, okay, who's in distorted energy. And this person not only just needs to heal, but it's something about them needing to listen to their intuition instead of gossiping and talking trash or trying to find out information about what's going on because somebody here feels lost. Either they got ghosted, they got cut off, okay? Something's going on with this person and they could be trying to come towards you. Someone here has weak limitations, weak boundaries, okay? They didn't have strong boundaries in a situation and they could also be getting ready to try to confess to you, okay, that they needed to sacrifice or that they're ready to sacrifice. Oh, wow. Someone here, yeah, they're the complete opposite of you. This could be someone that has like mental attacks, mental issues. Leo energy is here as well with the strength card being here. Someone here is praying or they're in a place of hope, okay? They could also be in like repentance energy, but somebody here is in like a prayer warrior energy. They're trying to pray. They're trying to bring about some type of peace and harmony within their life, but this is someone that's completely different than you or the opposite of you. Yeah, you have here earth sign energy. It could be an earth sign or you could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? You also have here somebody here chose poison. Oh my goodness, they chose something toxic, unhealthy, unhealthy behaviors, unhealthy people, unhealthy situations, okay? They also could have gotten themselves caught up with someone where it's now they're having to pay the government or child support or they're having to pay out for a situation. This also could have been an individual that could have focused too much on money instead of on spirit. And it's like now because of that, they're going to have to give out. Yeah, this could be a Taurus, okay? Or you could, or you could be a Taurus. Okay, this is even like in regards to someone that wants to come in with an offer. For someone, there could be a Taurus that's getting ready to come towards you with an offer or a commitment, okay, after choosing sex or lust, okay, and realizing that this person was full of drama. Someone here could have needed to be with someone who was creating chaos in their life, conflict so that they can ascend, okay, with ascension being here, and it's like now this person wants to talk, wants to get on like the same page with you, they're trusting in the signs and synchronicities that they're seeing at this time, or this is in the reverse, they could have ignored this, <laughs> oh snap, somebody here could have ignored the signs and synchronicities and the divine guidance, and that's why they're struggling financially, so it's like spirits hurt, hurt in this person's pockets, because not only did they choose lust, okay, temptation, but they also were, were like very greedy, money hungry, okay, very self-centered or just very superficial, okay, someone here is realizing that you're a soulmate or you're a divine lover and you have money that's attached to you, wealth, prosperity, fame, fortune, independence, okay, prosperity, blessings, you do things by yourself, you listen to your intuition and your better judgment, someone has gained enlightenment, the hangman is in the reverse, this could be happening today, in the present moment, or now, someone is gaining enlightenment at this time, this could even be someone that's dealing with court issues, or a legal matter, that they're having to address, or face, and it's putting them in some type of mental breakdown, this person's got a lot going on, because they chose wrong, yeah, the tower, it's a lot of chaos that's happening in someone's life, like, that is, that is the truth, okay, <laughs> It's a lot of chaos. It's a lot of destruction. It's a lot of upheaval. It's a lot of awakenings that could be taking place, a major epiphany, a revelation, a fake and faulty foundation that is falling apart because somebody here needed to do the shadow work to go within, okay? There is divine protection over you and over this situation as well. You are being prevented from harm. This is divine intervention. Somebody here is realizing that they had to go through certain things. God was, God was going to make sure that things got shaken up so that somebody could see the truth and know who to throw out in the trash. Okay? Someone here could be a musician. They could play the piano or you can, but there's a relationship or a situation that needs to be, like, discarded. Okay? So that an actual spiritual partnership can come into union. Capricorn energy wanted to show itself. Confirmation. Capricorn energy needed um, could have showed itself. Showed itself, could have, it did. And also, Aries, you can have this in your birth chart. You could be connected to one. Somebody here, they're going to go down with the law. Somebody here did something that was against karmic justice, that went against God, that was unethical. They could be going to jail or having horrible luck with the justice card in the reverse. Somebody here could have been trying to avoid karma or avoid taking accountability. And it's like now, 
they're, they're cursing themselves, okay? Someone here can't rest at all for trying to sabotage or trying to stop some type of spiritual union from coming in. It could have been a karmic feminine or a karmic masculine that was trying to do this. All right, let's jump to the tarot, y'all. Let's see who's going on. The moon card is here again. A lot is being hidden at this time. Someone is fighting. There's fights in the home. Okay, hold, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> It seems like this going to be <laughs> another big spread. There's fighting in the home. Somebody here is fighting. There's a lot of drama, competition, arguing, discord. There's no type of peace. There's a lot of gossip that's going on. Somebody here is trying to hide their true feelings, their emotions. Okay? It's like they're, they're drowning in it. With the moon card, this is a lot of fears. Somebody here is like their worst nightmare could be manifesting. This is also blocked intuition. Block dreams, block like trusting your better judgment, block being able to connect to the other side. Cancer energy is here heavy. What's the moon card? What's the moon card about? The devil. Somebody here is doing like dark spell work as well. Okay, this could be a Capricorn that's doing this. Oh my goodness. Someone's in like some type of karmic relationship, karmic marriage, karmic family unit. And they could be going back and forth about what they got themselves involved in because the three of pentacles with the two of pentacles is the five of pentacles. That's hardship, that's prosperity, that's pain, okay? I'm like, damn, somebody here. <laughs> I mean, that's a lack of prosperity. That's a lack of fortune. That's a that's like a lot of pain. Like, that's a lot <laughs> gosh. The five of pentacles in, in the upright is basically like feeling left out and alone from your higher self, from God. Feeling like God ain't listening to you. Why is the devil card here? Somebody here is realizing someone even could have tried to use some type of love spell and God is exposing it. What's why is the devil card here? God is also beating the devil or exposing the devil in someone's life. Okay, there was some type of restriction or bondage or like karmic lesson that needed to be learned with the devil card. The tower, there's destruction that's taking place. Upheaval. Okay, somebody, there's a fake and faulty foundation that is being destroyed, and there's somebody that is mad, upset, angry, vengeful, okay, with the devil card being here. This is being destroyed. This is being exposed in a very, like, traumatic way, traumatizing way even, because it's divine timing for this. Like, this, this is meant to happen. This could be happening for a man, an Aries or a Taurus. Okay, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, Cancer could be significant as well. What's the Emperor about? Somebody here trying to take charge. They're trying to be in a place of authority or leadership. Okay, it's like whatever this man was doing, though, it's like their manifestations aren't coming. The Three of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here is realizing their manifestations aren't going to come in until they embrace their inner strength, their inner courage, or step into their power or self-esteem. And so they overcome. The strength card beats the devil. Somebody here needs to tame themselves. Okay, this could be addiction, sex, greed, money, lust. Just low vibrational energy. Just, just you know, the devil just is like anything that pulls you away from God, your higher self, your destiny, your calling, your mission, why God created you, the wheel of fortune. This could be about like a man or a feminine uh, that's in like masculine energy at this time. So there could be like a divine masculine or a divine feminine that was in something that was completely toxic. This even could have been like a work dynamic with the three of pentacles. Someone here was doing like unethical things at work with the three of pentacles or in regards to make money, thinking that things were going to be hidden. But God is getting ready to expose that too with the sun, Leo energy as well as Aries and Taurus. But it's someone here that's needing to step into some type of inner strength, courage, willpower, bravery, belief in self to overcome. It's just divine timing for this to take place, okay? It's not going to stop until, like, someone here wakes up. It's catastrophe. The tower is like, Father God has given you time and time again to see the truth. So now catastrophe has to take place to wake you up so that you can not only see that God is in control, but it's like something that you are doing or going you know, towards in your life, it's not in alignment. This puts you in complete redirection. The tower is something that shakes you up from a mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, religious level. It shakes you up completely, okay? But it's someone here that's gaining, like, the strength and courage, okay? 
you could be the queen of swords. There's a Libra or there's a queen of swords individual that is here that is stressed out because they know a king of pentacles is going ghost or going within and they're taking action. Okay, it's like they're really determined to get something done. What's the queen of swords to hold back? Oh, wow. Spirit is like, so what's being hidden? So that's why the moon card started. This is what is like being hidden, which you may not see that's taking place. That's behind the scenes that your intuition could be telling you is happening. It is. Okay. <laughs> it is. It is. There's someone that could be a single parent, but very bitter about it or a divorcee male or female that's very angry and upset that has sleepless nights okay this could be someone that tries to like even come across as smart or very intellectual but this is someone that hides that they are stressed okay over somebody who could be very successful it could be an earth sign doesn't even have to be it could be a libra doesn't even have to be this could be just someone that's trying to use intellect in a situation or trying to repress their emotions, even though they're stressed out because they know somebody is going within. Virgo energy is here as well. Somebody here has gone ghost or has blocked someone or has disconnected or is limited to no communication. It's because somebody here is going inward for the answers. Okay, they're trusting their inner self. Okay, they're trusting their better judgment. They're trusting their spiritual team to enlighten them on a situation where there could have been a lot of darkness and illusions and trickster energy taking place, especially in regards to the devil and the moon. It could have even been dark magic going on. And I don't see the magician, but the devil and the moon is enough. Like, that's enough. Someone here definitely is gaining a lot of spiritual wisdom and enlightenment at this time. And they're taking the necessary actions to be strategic because it's something that this person wants to achieve or do. And it's like they're they're relentless towards it. They want to get something done. Okay. Let's see. What's going on? What's the king of wands? This could be a fire sign or this could be someone that's very, very attractive. Whatever this person is doing, it's causing some type of conflict with the five of wands. Whatever action that they're choosing to do or that they're passionate towards, it's causing some type of riffraff, conflict, drama. This is all meant to happen, though. The Wheel of Fortune is like, this is how God already written things to happen, and it's happening exactly the way that it is supposed to happen. <laughs> that's the Wheel of Fortune. Something is happening exactly the way that it is supposed to happen so that there could be success. Look at the Emperor showing itself so that there could be success. This could be in regards to you, Empress. It's like you ain't even involved <laughs> in this or Emperor, but you already out, Emperor. So this has to do with the Twin Flame Union, okay? A twin flame union, somebody here is, is highly stressed, okay? Or there's a lot of mental conflict in regards to you, Empress, okay? Literally, but somebody here, they want success. They want fame, they want fortune, they want victory. And there could be a lot of fighting or conflict to try to get this, okay? Because the five of wands right after this conflict is success. It's public recognition, it's praise, it's accolades, it's achievement, it's inspiration. It's admiration. Somebody here is not realizing you got to fight for this. Like somebody here is, is not realizing. It's, this could be even like spiritual warfare that's going on. Okay. Because you have the five of wands, the tower, the strength card, the moon and the devil. This is someone that's in spiritual warfare. Or this is spiritual warfare that's going on here. Okay. And it's because the devil wants to keep somebody trapped. And some type of illusion or trickster energy. Yeah, somebody here for a long time, they could have been seeing the truth in this situation. Okay, this is definitely someone that could have gotten a divorce or they could be like some type of financial ties or family ties in between two people. But there's definitely like a divorce or two people that are very cold towards one another with the king and queen of swords. But somebody here for a long time was like trying to analyze the situation or trying to use logic. Or trying just to work off of like what what is right. What's the King of Swords? Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Somebody here is trying to make a quick and impulsive move in a situation. With the Knight of Wands, this even could have been someone that was very careless or reckless or in and out. Or somebody here, they just they're non committal right now. They just they they just want a good time. What's the Knight of Wands? <laughs> What's the Knight? Oh no, Spirit. Like I don't like why would Spirit fly that all the way over there. Like, you most definitely, Spirit, like, why? <laughs> oh, my. Okay, let's see. The four of swords. Somebody here is making a quick and impulsive move. 
in regards to trying to heal us heal themselves heal from a situation with the four swords okay the temperance angel archangel michael is guiding some guiding someone like divinely guiding someone to heal to focus on healing to focus on peace okay what's the queen of swords but there's definitely he has somebody here they they all about trying to block somebody hold somebody back the four of pentacles <laughs> oh snap somebody here is leaving they're choosing to walk away from a situation they're starting new so somebody here is trying to stop someone from walking away and starting on something new and making a final decision what's the king but so they're doing it anyway somebody here has been exposed so there's illumination or there's healing that's coming in what's the king and queen of swords but these are two people yes it's an inevitable ending that's meant to take place with the ten of swords these two people it, it was something that was meant to end it could have been a lot of fighting or just cold, very direct, cold, hostile communication between two people. The magician in the reverse. Somebody here is doing spell work on someone in this situation. I knew it. It was dark magic being done in this connection to keep two people together. Okay, I don't know if the feminine was doing or the masculine, but this masculine is choosing to heal. But there could have been a Virgo that was doing this or someone that was completely toxic. And trickster, manipulative, toxic devil energy. Somebody here is all about lies, illusions, okay? To try to get money out of a situation. It was about somebody's money, their inheritance, their money, their fortune, okay? What they could bring to the table, okay? You have an apology that's coming towards you. Because I'm like, what's going on with the divine emperor and empress? Okay, this is someone from your past or someone that you left in the past or someone that you have history with. It's meant to happen. This is coming in now with the Wheel of Fortune. This is meant to happen. Oh, shit. The Queen of Pentacles in the verse. The reverse. Goodness. Somebody here was dealing with someone who was money hungry. They could have been like very shysty, materialistic, an unfit parent, male or female. Someone that will lie, cheat, scam, manipulate for a dollar for their stability because they don't have much at all someone is completely financially unstable this could be someone that it's like an energy is letting this person go with the ten of wands in the past somebody here could have been like dealing with the queen of pentacles in the reverse this is like someone that even could have tried to like drop drama in a situation or drop some type of burden but somebody here is dropping a burden and it's intimidating someone because it's over in a situation somebody here sees the truth they're no longer in some type of illusion with the two of swords in the reverse about a relationship about a dynamic about a soulmate connection they know exactly who who is like they they know exactly what's the queen of pentacles it could have been an earth sign a taurus Virgo, or capricorn feminine or masculine don't even have to be this is just the energy that's coming through Okay, but somebody here was very shysty. They could have been like someone here that tried to force someone to marry them. They could have tried to get pregnant or could have tried to force somebody to take care of them. Because the Queen of Pentacles is very needy, codependent, very greedy, very materialistic, very cunning. Someone that could be a charmer because they it's like they want somebody to provide for them. Somebody here doesn't want to provide for themselves. They want to live a certain type of lifestyle, a way of being. Okay, or they want to be taken care of and they could they will lie to do it yeah the king, king of cups somebody here played on someone's vulnerability or the fact that they do have real love or the fact that they could have a wandering eye someone here could even like to play on like married men or married women as well okay it's all about trusting in your intuition at this time because there there's definitely someone that could be wanting to come towards you because it's like they want to bring good karma your way now. They want to bring you justice. They want to balance out the scales. Someone here is about fairness at this time. Or they see you as being someone that's getting good karma. Receiving blessings over your life. Receiving harmony. Having new starts. Having breakthroughs. Okay. Having options. Having your choice in regards to love. Someone here sees this. That you could also be taking your time. Or you're no longer investing in regards to things that don't give you a positive return. It's like you're over that. You're blocking that out completely. The seven, seven of wands in the reverse. You're not missing out on any type of opportunities. The four of cups is here. You're taking a leap of faith. Okay? So it's like whatever you want to do, the world is yours. But most definitely, you need to listen to your intuition because there is a relationship that's coming towards you. Or there's a soulmate that's coming towards you. Okay? And there's someone that you left out in the cold that is heartbroken. 
okay? Or this could be someone that wants to come in, but they're leaving someone out in the cold. What's the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Swords? Someone either has to leave someone out in the cold. Yeah, someone is leaving someone out in the cold, and it could be very heartbreaking. And it's because someone here is choosing someone who's independent, self-sufficient, a boss, a CEO, authentic, real, genuine love. Someone here is, is going to be heartbroken in this situation. So you could be choosing someone new, or you could be choosing someone from your past that's leaving someone behind, okay? And it could have been a very traumatic, traumatizing, painful, stressful situation. Someone here could have lost all their money. They could have been really heartbroken, like, emotionally. And it's like, this is what's waking this person up to who you are. The Nine of Pentacles individual, someone who thrives, okay? Someone who is very, like, stable, independent, a boss, an entrepreneur even. You don't even have to be. You could just be someone that has and holds their own. You have your own money, your stability, your security, savings, your own job, your own home, your own car for some. It's like you can take care of yourself. You're not relying on anyone but you and God. Okay, and someone here, ooh, someone here, they, they're seeing this at this time, which is why they could be wanting to connect to you. What's the two of cups? The nine of cups. Complete wish fulfillment, happily ever after energy. And what's the high priestess? Needing to listen to your intuition. That somebody here is going to try to stress you out. The eight of swords with some type of forward movement or communication that they want to bring you. Somebody's taking action towards you, Empress. Okay? To try to put in the work. So you have... Oh, man. Where's the Empress? <laughs> Where is the emperor? Because I feel like your emperor is trying to make plans on coming towards you. I do. What's the emperor? Or your empress is trying to make plans on the, yeah, the nine of wands. Someone that's scared because they don't know if it's over. They don't know if, if it's over, if there could be a brand new beginning, a change, a transformation that takes place. Somebody regrets, okay, not having the end all be all or not committing. The Ten of Pentacles, because they realize the life that they may be living with you at this time, if they would have done right, or if they would have seen the truth sooner, okay, or tamed themselves sooner. But God is exposing or bringing up illumination at the perfect time. So you most definitely have someone that could be making plans on coming back towards you. A spirit is like, you need to listen to your intuition. Because either someone will put you in some type of mental conflict, overthinking, Okay, or this is what somebody's doing in regards to you because their intuition, their conscience is telling them that you're the one that they're supposed to be with. Where's the new love, the new energy? Is it coming in? Is it coming in? The Empress <laughs> is the new love. Empress, if you want new love, yes, it's up to you. If you want to choose new love, you can. It's all about dropping burdens in your life, whatever doesn't stress you out the most is what spirit wants you to go towards and i'm going to clarify the empress and the emperor together because y'all are out you're not in an illusion anymore the seven of cups in the reverse you have complete clarity in regards to your life what you want for yourself in regards to what direction you want in regards to what you will and will not take the empress attracts them peace love prosperity abundance and blessings in all areas of their life male or female what's the emperor and the empress putting in the work for a new start. So somebody here, if you want, it's time to put in the work or somebody here is going to want you to put in the work for a brand new beginning. This is what they're going to be communicating with the eight of wands, that they want to have a new beginning. So this is a choice that could be coming in. Spirit is like the new love coming in is someone that needed to get their act together. <laughs> One more for the empress. Someone here that may have needed to get their act. Oh, shoot. Oh, anything else that you could tell me for the emperor? Spirit, please. <laughs> Six of Pentacles in the reverse. This is most definitely someone that could have been shady. They could have been very self-centered. They could have been the type that would take from you. Or if they gave, they wanted something in return. They could have been the type that exchanged energy with multiple people. Okay, and took from multiple people like an energy vampire. That's the Six of Pentacles as well. Or someone here that wanted to be looked at as someone who could provide for everyone. Okay, for clout, for power, for how it looks, for the look of things. Somebody here, they definitely was about the look of things. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. But this person could be making a change or going in a different direction with the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. Somebody here, they're trying to close out a cycle to have a new beginning. 
okay? This could also have to do around like commitment, committing to something major or new money that this person could be wanting to make or create or manifest at this time after being in a place of famine or hardships or being in the connection where they could have lost it all. But this is most definitely a choice, okay? <laughs> This is most definitely a choice, but there is somebody that's in regret and sadness because they're realizing that with you is the Ten of Pentacles, generational wealth, blessings upon blessings, wealth, a luxurious life, abundance, luxury, lavish things, lavish material harvest coming in, new opportunities, new connections, sustainability, you being able to maintain, grow, and thrive. Okay, this is also generational wealth for you, your children, children, you being able to leave money and inheritance. Somebody here is realizing this and they don't want to miss out on this opportunity. They don't. So for some, someone is coming. What's the eight of wands? Someone is coming. They got plans. I don't know. Spirits, and they, they got plans. Yeah, they're, they're coming towards you to heal this. Somebody here is going to be communicating that they want to take action for a new beginning, a new start. They still have hope. They still have faith that they could turn this around. And if you let them, they won't come. This could be someone that's at a distance across water or someone here that knows that they have to travel towards you or knows that they have to make a decision in regards to leaving something that they could have been very like stuck to or bonded to behind. This is someone that has to make a life choice. Okay. And it has to do with you <laughs> in regards to whether or not you want to accept it because it's like you already learned certain lessons, Emperor, Empress. But you most definitely have your twin or a high-level soulmate that is getting ready to try to take action to try to mend, okay, a divine spiritual connection that they intuitively feel like they have with you. Let's get some advice. <laughs> this is supposed to be a quick reading, y'all. <laughs> this is supposed to be a quick reading, okay? I don't even know what the other little, if I could pull from that one real quick. Anything else that they need to know from this deck, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Get ready for his and hers. <laughs> Get ready for his and hers. Get ready to build an empire with someone. This even could have been someone I wanted you to chase after them. Runner chaser energy. Okay. All blockages have been removed. The letter W could be significant. Okay, this has to do with the big player energy. For some, it could be an Aquarius. Okay, you could be getting ready to get approved for a new luxury car, a Lambo, a BMW, a Benz, a Bentley, a Porsche, or an Audi. Okay, you can expect communication in one week for, from someone I'm seeing here as well. Okay, the spiritual realm loves and protects you. Something could be getting ready to happen in the next 48 hours. Someone's family and friends are jealous of you. This could even be someone that's trying to go to a dark high priest that doesn't listen to God. They could be trying to do something around the full moon, not realizing it's not going to work. Either somebody already did this. This could have been a Virgo, okay? Or somebody here, a Virgo, could be trying to spy, hack you, stalk you, okay? Because they know that you're about to be all-inclusive in a relationship with someone, okay? Your angels and your ancestors and your spirit guides, they are protecting you. And the love... The love spells and the mind games that someone tried to play, they failed. Okay, 555 five, five could be significant. You have a major life change that's on the way. It's time for you to embrace the new and let go of the old spirit. wants you to be very mindful of a devil energy that has an STD, a sexually transmitted disease or a demon. The letter V could be significant. Someone's going through a spiritual awakening at this time. The letter O could be significant. You are a star. You could be in the public eye, you could gain public recognition at this time, or you could be an inspiration, well-known. You're about to have a level up. This could be getting ready. Something could be happening in one week in regards to an illusion being broken. Somebody could have been in an illusion. Okay, you are God's gift. I'm also seeing here, that's another reason why you got unexpected money coming your way. A promotion or a raise. Someone was trying to do something with pictures of you on their phone. Okay, this could have been someone that had tattoos. The letter P could be significant. Okay, I see the divine has stepped in. The letter D, first, middle, or last initial, yours or theirs. Something could be happening in the next 72 hours. Okay, you have the letter C that's here. Someone could have braids or dreads, first, middle, or last initial. Leo is here. Someone could have fake family members. You will overcome. If you are a Leo, you may have fake family members. You will overcome this. 
someone could have done something in the winter. They could have hidden a secret pregnancy. Okay, you could have been empathic and you may have known this. Somebody here going to jail, okay? You have a happy home that's coming towards you as well. You also have a soul contract that's coming in. Okay, someone could drive a Toyota, Honda, Chevy, Ford, Mazda, or Acura. Something could be taking place on Monday and on Wednesday. This has to do with your twin flame. Okay, you also have someone here that's going through bad karma. They're being set up. This even could have been someone that was trying to set you up. Okay, you also have it on Thursday. Somebody here, yeah. You also have your old love is trying to be solo at this time. Okay, Gemini energy. You could have Gemini in your birth chart. You could be connecting to a Gemini. There could also be a Gemini that is waiting at this time. Okay, the letter K could be significant. Your ancestors are all around you. Anything else from this deck? Okay, somebody has paid or they were playing for spell, spell work and it's not working. The letter A could be significant. 333 is here. It's time that you balance out your mind, body, and soul. A decision needs to be made. So another card flipped over. I don't know where it's at. Pisces is here as well. Okay, you also have your somebody was trying to do sex magic. It even could have been a Pisces that was trying to do sex magic in a situation to keep somebody bonded or stuck to them. Okay, there is most definitely magic being done to keep somebody in an illusion. And they could have been in an illusion for a long time in a discontent, unhappy, loveless connection with that king and queen of swords. Two people that don't like each other, but they're together for the money or kids or whatever. Okay, let's do <laughs> Let's do advice. What's the advice, Holy Spirit? What do they need to know? What's the advice? Okay, you have here. It is my birthright to thrive. And at the bottom, I am allowed to say no. So if you want to say no, you can say no. <laughs> Spirit is not going to be mad. Spirit is not going to be mad. If something is too much, it's just a no. Okay. And that could be for you or that could be for this other person, like male or female that's trying to get out of a situation. But it's okay to say no. Okay, Archangel Michael, to close us out, what's the advice for the divine empress and empresses? Peace and thank you. You are guarded and protected and don't you ever forget it. Don't you ever forget it, okay? Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me and sharing that with faith and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gracefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. I hope this resonated with y'all. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video.